Good. Perfect. Okay. So, really, congratulations from all of us. Sorry, we are a bit in trouble. Yes. Sir. Thank you very much. Grazie mille. A lot of congratulations. Yes. Sir. Thank uh, you. Yes, yes. Really fantastic race. So fast. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, the weather was so good all day. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Christian, I have just a few yeah. questions I prepared for you. Uh, I, I'll go right away. So, first of all, uh, we want to ask you, what was your uh, feeling when you arrived first uh, in your hometown? Yes, it was, uh, it was amazing for sure. Um, but we invest the night pass and and uh, so I was really a planet, but I was also lucky to be in front and took the night pass to be first. Yeah. Um, but to see the organization of the turn point, all the fans and family, they was there. It was just amazing. Amazing. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and Christian, tell us something about um, what happened uh, at the turn point of the Mont Blanc when uh, only you and Maxime was able to go through, how was the condition in flight? Yes, at the, um, Chamonix, the conditions start to be really difficult because shadow and wind. And then in the south of Mont Blanc, the cloud was really low. So we had to find the right way through the pass to continue the flight. And it was really, yeah, not easy. And so some had to land because of the shadow and the strong wind. And me and Maxim was able to fly. And I was finally able to land at the Côte Saint Bernard. And Maxim was blowing down by the wind and landed a bit before. So it was, a, I would say, a tricky yeah, situation this evening. And I was very happy to at least make the turn point. But then it starts raining and I had to wait. I made a small hike up, but I wait for another half an hour to stay, uh, to take off because of the rain and uh, shadow. So it was not, not easy to, to find the right uh, decisions there. Understand, understand. Uh, Christian, about what happened in Sondrio, in Valtellina, once in Italy, that in that evening uh, you got passed uh, by Damien and Maxime. So there you really had to uh, keep your, your, uh, your thinking and your uh, strength uh, uh, because uh, we saw in the morning you were uh, 20 kilometers uh, on the back uh, and after a little bit, uh, 20 kilometers in the front. Yes, in, uh, in the flight from, from Aosta, I was in front. I was working uh, with, with a little bit of safety, so I was not so fast. I was managing to cross in Veltlin, Como, Lake Como. And then I took the wrong line. Finally, you can see that uh, Max and Damia flew a different line. They are, arrived higher in the, in the evening side and then they make more altitude again. And for me, it was not possible to, to terminal again in the evening. So I landed uh, near Sondrio and I saw them coming and I saw that they do uh, well terminaling. So I was not able to change the situation. The only thing what I do is to think about the next day. And we decide in team to make it uh, a, a little distance on the flat but not so far because the thermal uh, forecast was good. Yeah. So we went up to the, to the north side. It means with the forecast of north wind, it's in the lee, protected yeah. from the wind. I hope for good thermals. And then uh, on the next day, the thermals at my takeoff working very well. So this gives me the advantage to start earlier and to catch up the others soon. And uh, yeah, that's a typical strategic question and for us was working on this day right right uh, so we have talked about your arrival at your uh, house but uh, apart from that uh, flying uh, uh, wise which was your best uh, uh, let's say the one that you like the most yeah it's uh, at home i know the area well so it was nothing new but for me the dolomites was new I really like Dolomites and to arrive in uh, Cortina d'Ampezzo and Tercime, for me it was a brilliant feeling because uh, the conditions was windy, 
it was not easy to to fly in there from Brenta, crossing the big valley. And I think in combination with managing this difficult place and the beautiful rocks and mountains of the Dolomites, this was a really nice combination. Right. Yeah. I believe so too. Yes. Uh, I will been, uh, I've been following uh, all your Instagram uh, every day. And what really is amazing for us uh, is that you are always smiling. I mean, you are doing <laughs> such a great race, but you were always uh, looks uh, happy to do it. Unbelievable. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. It, it was a, a pleasure to compete this year because of the weather. And we always got a good plan. We, we always got a good performance and finally this gives me the yeah the, the coolness to smile <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes yeah. one last question uh, uh christian which is your next project now yeah <laughs> it's uh i do a book i write a book so we have to to make another chapter from x alps so uh, next week i plan three days to make this finish and then it's uh, other competitions like I get tour and Swiss championship and go, go on like this till end of the year. So not the big project, but serious competition flying. Yes. Never stop. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Never stop. I really enjoy and yeah. 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 Really. Uh, I believe that in your case, uh, uh, the Eagle, it's really the name that you deserve. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so thanks very much for your time. Uh, you have been very kind to us. Uh, and uh, we really, really, I don't know how to say um, the, the, the best compliments we can do for you. It really, it's uh, unbelievable. That's so lovely. Thank you for being part of Next Alps and watching me and uh, like to everybody in Italy. Okay, thanks very Bye, much. Tara. Thank yeah. you. Goodbye. Good. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Eh, che dire ragazzi, eh, abbiamo parlato con eh, una leggenda <ride> assolutamente eccezionale. Eh, bene, allora non ho voluto fare la traduzione eh, direttamente perché eh, era un po' di corsa, vedo, vedete, stava camminando, quindi eh, spero abbiate un po' intuito le cose, poi nei prossimi giorni con l'AMP vedremo di eh, inserire i testi sotto le sue risposte così da poterlo eventualmente eh, comprendere anche per chi non, ehm, non ha capito tutta l'intervista. Comunque è veramente un'emozione, una grande emozione. Bravo.